Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is extremely sad that I'm about to talk about. This woman, the woman here you see on the screen, her name is Cynthia Hairston. She was 53 years old from South Los Angeles, and she was chased down in the middle of traffic, causing a huge traffic jam by who her family believes her ex-boyfriend, -boyf um, who goes by the name of Keith Pullum. 58 years old. Gazi chased her down, causing a huge traffic jam, got out of his car and shot into her car eight times, killing her and wounding her male cousin who was sitting on the passenger side. He was shot in the leg. Her, her family and her friends, they all believe that it was the ex-boyfriend because she, two months ago she had to get a restraining order on him because he was stalking her once he was released from jail. Now, he's still at large. The police haven't found him. He's still a suspect. Um, so, like, I'm inclined to believe that he... I'm, I'm with the family. He had to do this because if he was innocent, why, ha why haven't he came forward yet, you know, and identified, you know, came up to the, to, you know, came to the police and said, you know, he didn't do it. This wasn't me. They have, uh, the car that he was driving, uh, as a 2001 Toyota. They said it has, it, it's a huge, it should have a huge missing bumper because of the accident you know, that the car was in before he got out and did what he did to her, he was able to get back into his car and drive away. That's, I just, ugh. in broad daylight, nonetheless. This is just sad on so many levels. And with October being Domestic Violence Month, I mean, come on, man. When does, oh, man, when, when does this end? This is just really, really sad. My heart pours out to Cynthia's family. And as a DV victim myself, I totally understand the need to, uh, you know, get the restraining orders and the need to want to protect yourself and have things documented. So I totally get and understand her family's frustration and anger and pain because look at what happened. You know, look, look at what he was able to do to her. And he's, he's still on the run. They haven't found him. They're asking for anyone with information to, you know, come forward and help the police to, to catch him. And for the sake of society, I really hope that the police find this man and get him off the streets. With that being said, guys, take a look at this. Same time. She did not wake up this morning thinking that this was going to be her last day on earth. She's talking about her aunt, Cynthia Hairston, gunned down this morning here in South L.A., allegedly by her ex-boyfriend. She was wonderful. She had great energy. She always brought a smile. Every time you've seen her, she wanted a hug and love. So mm -hmm. it sucks that that energy's gone. The violence began just before 11 a.m. here at 21st and Central, where Hairston had gone to pay her rent. Family members say that when she walked back to her car, Keith Pullum was waiting nearby and opened fire. For the next mile or so, he would chase Hairston's maroon car in a silver gray Avalon, similar to this one, often at high speeds, side swiping cars and heavy traffic until they got here to Jefferson and San Pedro. Both the victim and the suspect's vehicle crashed. The suspect's vehicle is no longer at scene and we are, like I said, currently trying to locate that vehicle. Before Pullum drove off, though, he allegedly fired point blank into Hairston's car, killing her. Her cousin, Hadarius Ross, was in the passenger seat. He took a bullet to his right knee, but somehow escaped with his life. And it just happened so quick. This LAUSD driver was delivering lunches when the shooting erupted right in front of him. He helped Mr. Ross out of the car. I saw he was clearly in pain and looked like he was fighting for his life, so I got out of the car, out of my truck, and I wanted to make sure he got the attention he needed. Hairston's family says that she broke up with Pullum just two months ago because of abuse, and she got a restraining order. But no one suspected it would go this far. Pullum is...
it would go this far. Pullum is described to us as a guy in his late 50s, about 5'9", stocky though, 240 pounds. That car he's driving has tremendous damage. In fact, many people were amazed that he was even able to drive it away. If you think you've seen him or the car, give the LAPD a call. In downtown LA, I'm Rick Chambers. Guys, let me throw it back to you in the studio. Man, just, man, this is just really sad. I really hope the police find this guy and get him off the streets because I know he did it. He did it. But anywho, with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And hit that notification bell so you'll be sure to see when I drop new videos and content. And follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Sister Girl Talk TV. And again, guys, come over there and join me on my Patreon. I just got accepted. Yay! At Sister Girl Talk TV. Bye. Thank you.